computer databases what we have then you need to create a data uh, sorry you need to uh, define the SQL injections or you need to configure the SQL injections right so with the help of which tools so now we have a SQL map so what we have that SQL map now so with the help of SQL map what we can do we can simply find those vulnerabilities right and we can also exploit the databases you can also inject and many more things you can do that right so with the help of which mechanism so with the help of cookies mechanism right so where we we find those cookies information so we can find those cookies informations from your login portal let's suppose you are a genuine user right so when we log in that system by default generate or create a cookies for you it's by default happening right so what we can do that with the help of those cookies parameter or with the help of those cookies in moment we can exploit those uh, database we can find the databases name and in the database we can find the table name and in the table we can find the queries the details like row and column the whatever whatever the parameter you have that we can find those information in that way so how we can do that right so for that log into your uh, attacker machine right so what we can do that we can simple log into these particular uh, this machines we can see those uh, right so the very first point what we need to do that right so very first we need to install the SQL map package what command we have that apt install SQL map just hit enter right now so to again to run those things what I need what I need that I need a cookies ID right again I'm mentioning to perform these things what I need that I need the cookies right so how, where we can find those or where I can got this uh, configurations or those systems and informations right right so in that case in that case what we can do if I just show you that right let me show like we have a portal something uh, any Google uh, uh, I mean the Google, good shopping or movies let's suppose you have a portal like something uh, moviescope.com let's suppose that moviescope.com right so this is my portal and all those things so in the same point or in the same section if you're trying to log in inside those machines and all those right so we need a user and password so when you are not able to log in that the cookie is not going to create or not going to store that right so why is not opening okay so this is a portal right so if i want to check the cookies right even though we are not logging that the cookie is not going to generate that if i show you that just click on the inspect element sections right and in this particular um, console sections right type here what Okay, so sorry. So the command what we have that is the document dot cookies to find the okay. So if you notice now we don't have any cookies yet, right? You can verify with the help of this command. Either in the storage sections, right? We can also find that we don't have any cookies ID yet. Correct? Why we're not getting the cookies ID? Because we are not logged yet, right? So when you log in inside the system, here we got a cookies ID. How we can do that? Let's suppose we have a gen user, that name is something like we can say the Sam, and this is my user password. We can say the test, right? So if you notice now right if you notice now we successful login inside this particular uh, users right and now wanted to verify those what cookies ID they have that so you can simply check that inspect so in the exam the cookies ID they mentioned that right and in the console sections when I verify those what the document dot cookies so when you verify those informations right so here we have cookies ID correct like M scope something something you can verify in here or what you can do that you can verify in the storage sections so these are cookies ID earlier we don't have that but this time we got that now so what we need to do that so this is a profile ID so what I need that I need that user profile ID and I need a cookies so with the help of these mechanisms I can exploit my databases right so what I can do that again we are a genuine user right here we got that uh, the user profile IDs right as, as log into the Facebook and although it will create the profile ID right? your profile like your facebook.com slash your name something number and all so this is a profile ID 
and then we have a cookies ID we can get that right now with the help of this information what I can do that I can find the databases name I can find the tables name and I can find whatever the contents at the table I can find in that way too so what I can do that in this particular section we have a command so what command we have that SQL map so you stand for the URL and mention those URL right what you can do that simple mention like this is my cookies ID and all those things what you can do that you can simple mention that SQL or uh, MySQL and then the URL right so we have this sorry for the ID this ID you can copy that right this profile ID of that user so control C so SQL map and then the URL and then space hyphen hyphen cookies you can mention that so we have a cookies and what are the cookies ID just mentioned there so in my case my cookies is something cookies is something this one so you can simply mention the cookies so for that for that simple run this command directory document search either you can use the storage sections and simple copy this entire cookies because it's like important point correct so we need a cookies ID to explore those things as well okay and here I mentioned the cookies ID that's all and then hyphen hyphen dbs that's all it means what it means we are searching the database right that stored by this particular user whatever user profile like we have a sam user that so will it will search those um, uh, you can say those uh, database that sam may be stored and the database we need to find the tables and the tables we need to find those details correct just hit enter now it's starting to fetch those informations it takes some time not more than a minute right but if you notice now right so they are trying to so it looked like the backend uh, database is microsoft sql so yes it identified that they are using a microsoft sql so correct just press y yes right and then they are trying to uh, provide those authentication extending so just press yes to configure those things and now they are trying to fetch the database name okay and then press y again now here we got database if you notice now right so what the database we have that if you notice now right we have a like a dw configured good shopping movies and all those if you remember earlier right and here we don't have a demo and all because we deleted that earlier right now so here we got databases name and now what you can do there you can verify and you can also check the what is the table inside my database let's, let's suppose we have movie scope right what i need that i need to check that what is my right what is my date see this is my database and show me the table inside the database what you can do that so the same command the url the cookies ids and then the database we have a movie scope and inside that show me the table just hit enter so now this command is going to show the tables so here we got a table right and now you need to depend on your uh, knowledge basis and all those things you need to check that like maybe the use i need to use an password so the user and password store in which uh, table right they need to verify that maybe in the uh, maybe in the customer login or maybe in the user login or where so what i need that i need to explore the user login let's suppose that what i can do that i can simple use hyphen d right then hyphen t the table name is something user login and then just mention hyphen hyphen dump dump is explore so what i'm doing that I'm gathering the information or I'm checking the informations inside those particular table that is user underscore login and that belongs to which do databases the movie scope just hit enter and now within a second here you got uh, all the information the plain text like that so this is your username IDs and then their uh, privileges and then their password in the plain text it means what it means if you're trying to log in with a test user uh, sorry Lee user so what the username and what's the password in the plain text test so in, in the exam there is a question so what they are saying that right you need to find uh, you need to uh, um, explore the database and all those things and find the user and password 
right? So you can perform in deep queries, and whatever you find the user and all those things, you can perform, and then you can exploit those things in that problem, right? Even though you have tried to log in with that user, even though Lee and then passwords, what I can do that? I can simply log in with that uh, the user, the Lee, and then password is test. Here we successful login each other with the help of the user, right? And what's the profile IDs they have there? So the profile ID is five. The same profile ID they are mentioning the answer five. Clear with that? So this is an important point. With the help of these things, what we can do? We can find the information, then we can explore, explore, and then we can exploit in that two aspect. But even though you can also get the shell and all, right? What I need that I need a shell. So you can simply mention hyphen hyphen OS shell. Here we got a shell as well. This is also a possibility. I mean the remote shell and all those things with the help of this command. Right? And then you can also delete the entire database as well. But this is not, we are not going to do that actually because we need actually shell to perform those things. So if you notice now, just press Y. Right? Here we got a shell. Now what command you can fire there? So just press help and it will show that yes, we can perform these different different commands. So these are in the help sections. Or especially for the SQL injection, we have like DSS, right? Wanted to verify that, I'll show you that if you need that. I'll show you that quickly because already we have everything, right? So we have those information. So let me show with you guys. So we have a DSS and inside that we have, um, so just do one thing, Python 3, dss.py, right? And then simple mention those URL. So we have this URL that we performed earlier, right? We have a profile ID of that user and we have also we have a cookies ID as well. Correct? And simple mention those cookies IDs, whatever cookies ID and then just hit enter, right? It starts searching, right? It start searching and provide you that yes, we have a vulnerabilities in the database that we can say post target. Just a second, we just miss those uh, double quotation section here. So if you notice now, what we get that the scanner parameter right appear is blind and all those things. So this this port ID we can mention, even though what you can do, the, even though with the help of this URL, one more point exactly, right? With the help of this URL, you can find all the user information, even though, right? Profile ID. So, what I'm going to do with that if I just launch this application, if you notice now, right? What we have, we have profile one, same profile, right? Profile two, all the profile we can check in the single command, KT, the three profile, right? So, we can verify all these profiles, their user, their, so their user their uh, details like all the information you can use.